for video number two in the series we're doing where we're, we are re-watching, that's a tongue twister, we are re-watching state championship bouts with the state champion I have today, uh, Dan Muncy. Dan, say hi. Hi. Dan won the... 160 pound. 160-pound weight class in... 2004. 2004. And I have the bracket. We're going to go through his, like we've done with his brother, Josh, if you couldn't figure out uh, why I'm doing them back-to-back. In the first round, you pinned J.J. Williams from John Harden in a minute, 39 seconds. Second round, you pinned Bill McCafferty from St. X in 5 minutes and 13 seconds. In the quarterfinals, you wrestled Lewis Delk from Connor as a fall as well. The semifinals, you got to explain this one because I don't know the story on this one. You beat Eric Burrell from LaRue County 2 nothing. Just kind of give us a... What, what happened there? Um, well, me and Eric, we actually wrestled probably three times throughout high school. And uh, they were always real close matches. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the time before the semifinals match, he may have actually been beating me, and then I caught him on his back. Oh, my. Um, but going into the semifinals match, I knew Eric was a really good uh, wrestler on his feet. He had a really good blast double, mm -hmm. uh, great takedowns. And my takedowns weren't that great. Uh, I was more of a mat wrestler and scrambler. So I knew going in, I needed to be offensive on my feet, trying mm -hmm. to shoot and tie his legs up. Right. And uh, I didn't score a single offensive point uh, that he he gave me all my points for me wow. beating two to nothing. So were they all escapes? Uh, w one of them was a penalty point. Okay. He uh, locked his legs around my head. Oh, and so well. I got a one penalty point, and then uh, I think it was the third period I picked down, and uh, he... Uh, pushed me away, let me up. Wow. So that gave me my second point, being it's, a 2 nothing. The thing about wrestling, you never know how you're going to win. And then the finals, we're not going to tell you the score. We're going to score it as we go along. You wrestled Adam Moeves from Campbell County. Now, I ask your brother, I'm going to ask you the same questions. We know there's probably a four or five hour gap in between your semifinals and your finals. Walk us through those four hours, five hours. What did you do? Um, mostly I slept, I think. That's good. Tried to. Mm -hmm. Um got something to eat, went later on in the hotel, and uh, listened to music, that's, try that's, to get motivated. I, I understand that. Now, going into the state tournament, you're a senior in 2004. Were you ranked number one in the state? What was your... I was ranked number one all year. Uh, uh, this humble brag. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm uh, kidding. The, the only reason I was ranked number one is because I did make it to the finals the year before, okay. and I uh, was a state runner-up. Well, that's... And, uh, Lost a buddy died from Wayne County, which okay, was a good yeah, wrestler. Okay, I, I know buddy. I know. So. I remember that. I remember that name. The so you did place your junior year. Yes. You state runner up, which is cool. Before we start this video, there is about a thirty second part of the video. Now, two thousand four. You gotta think we didn't have smartphones. These are recorded on like Palm uh, VHS cameras. So. Everything is being converted over into a digital format. There is a little bit of a glitch. We'll let you know when it is. Nothing really happens as far as like crazy in the match goes, but there is a little bit of a glitch. Let's watch this bout. All right, we're down here in the corner again. You guys are going to watch along with us. You guys know what a review is. Dan, space bar, I'll give you the honors. Let's do it. 2004, 160 pound state championship. Let's do it. All right. I asked your brother the same thing. What was your like best takedown? You see, right there going for that, uh, like a sweep. Yeah, I wasn't like I said, I wasn't much of a on my feet wrestler, but I knew this this match I needed to be more offensive and yeah. stay attacking his legs. Uh, I was a good scrambler, so I knew if I could get to his legs and cause chaos, there was a good oh, oh. chance I was coming up on top. Bounce. Okay. All right. And he was really strong, too. He, he was a lot stronger than me, I can tell. Trying to change the levels there. Oh, nice. Shot in my belly, which ain't, which ain't good, but we can work from there. We can work working outside. Just trying to build a wall, circle towards that leg, establish position, and then attack the far leg. Keep the toes. Oh, 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 there we go. Two reds or two nothing. Now, we didn't get this with your brother, but 
What was your like best breakdown? Uh, I, I liked the, the chop and catch and mm -hmm. I liked the spiral, but I knew this guy had a very powerful stand up, so I'd, I'd do the near waist yeah. uh, far ankle ride a lot on him. Oh, we're out. Okay. Green still down. And if you see me giving hand signals, I'm. I, we're gonna have a wrestle meet, so I'm still. I'm in referee mode here. All right. So we're out. We're out. We're out. Said somebody tried to come in. That's why I turned around. <laughs> it's work in progress, guys. Work in progress. Yeah, he, he was he had a really solid base. It was hard to break him down. Hey look, he can he tell, man, this dude has got some really good defensive wrestling. Yeah. Real powerful and his legs coming to his feet. He he was hard to hard to turn. There, and, there it is. Yeah. There it is. There it is. Oh, now you see much a stall right there. He it, it is something that, you know, no matter if the state finals or not, just because somebody's able to stand up does not mean that they're working to get out. They have to have that constant trying to get yourself free. Standing up does not always mean that. Oop. Got a caution green. Caution green. Caution green. All right, now. Let's say it again. Wait for the whistle. Wait for the whistle. There you go. Listen, going for that ankle. Oh, 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 oh. That one right there made me a little nervous. All right, yeah. I think it made Coach Matney nervous, too. Now, what is uh, Matney? There was the glitch, guys. You just saw it come along with us. Nothing really happened. I think I, I did let him up. At okay. that point, uh, Coach Matney looked at me when we came back to the center after that, and he, he told me to cut him, let him go, give him his point. Okay, so we're and now, what, one to four? I think it's four to two, possibly. Four to two? Okay. So it was like you won the toss, deferred, he chose down. And it's like you're going optional start. Is yeah. that, was you a big optional start guy? No, I like wrestling on the mat. And that's why it really, I got a little worried when, when Coach Matt, he was yelling at me after coming back in. He was like, hey, let him up, Dan. Give him his one. Let's take him down again. One, not two, right? Yep. And so it... Being a, a, a mat wrestler, it really makes you uneasy when you're giving a guy a point to get back to his feet when you don't feel comfortable on your I, feet. I can understand that. I, I mean, especially somebody you've never wrestled before. Yeah. There it is. There it is. He had heavy hips. I was going to say, it looks like he's got a good sprawl going on, too. Yeah. You just got to keep moving, keep there, building. There it is. There's that trip. back into there it. There it is. Ooh. That's some good wrestling out there, man. Of course, I mean, you're the one that done it, but I mean, that was still just good, good solid wrestling. So, you getting down, what's your go-to turn? Are you half in the wrist? I know you said your spiral breakdown stuff, but like, uh, you like bar series, wing series? I like riding legs. But uh, if I couldn't get my legs in, or it, I was having a hard time getting his hip to the mat to, to throw mm -hmm. him in, I would try to uh, catch a wrist and, and run the bar series or hammer lock series. I got you. All right. There's one. One green. All right, now we're back neutral. I was hoping I was going to push him out of bounds before he got that one, but... You've got good head movement. You can tell you're trying that level change. I don't think, unless it had to be in that cut, like that's two takedowns in a row that you've got pretty much with the exact same. Yeah. Right? You can tell that, that was a you, you were a stud on that move. Oh, we're going optional start again. All right, got one.
I think that was the first shot he took. The I was gonna match. say I, I, that had to be his first offensive. Yeah. I didn't remember anything before that. Now, right here, are you trying to run a chancellor or just something to... Uh, I was trying to pull him back in because he kept got crawled in and out of bounds. I knew there was short time, mm -hmm. so I just wanted to try to keep him in and maybe try to spin behind him real quick. Yeah, okay, there we are. Now, what was your uh, stand-up? What was your favorite from the, from the bottom? Are you trying to switch? Are you trying to stand up? Or what were we doing here? I was a uh, shrug and Granby. Uh, like I said, I, I didn't like being on my feet, so I really didn't go for stand-ups a lot. Mm -hmm. I wanted two-point reversals, five-point reversals. I got you. I, I totally understand that. Yep. Now, what was the potentially dangerous right there? I, honestly, I don't really remember what it was. I was actually kind of surprised on that call that he stopped it. It looked like it had to be something like elbow or shoulder or something. It, that's what it looked like from here because your head was fine. Yeah. Oh. I see what you mean now. Now, when you get your legs in, what are you thinking? Uh, got to get one out. I got a high leg. Get get my legs together right there and, and try to work. Yeah. So I got his legs out. Felt like I could stand up. Mm -hmm. He stayed heavy. Uh, just worked back to a good base. And then he goes for his legs again. I like creating scrambles. Oh, that, look at that right there. Uh, Granby. Was that a Granby or Kamikaze? We... We call that a uh, kamikaze, okay. but it, I didn't hit it very great, but it, it, it worked out in my favor that okay. time. Let's see. Do you remember who's doing the filming on this? My dad, actually. Dad? So surprisingly, he, he had a pretty steady hand throughout the whole thing. I was going to say, one of your sons being in the state championship for the second time in three years, that's a pretty good hand. What was the, what was the, right there? Uh, I, I think he, he said I didn't have his arm straight across his back. It made, it came up a little bit. Yeah. So. There you go. It's, it's good. Like every time he got to his feet, he wanted to get close to that line before he tried this mm -hmm. little switch. Well. Green, you're down. So we, it's got to be short time. We've not seen the clock yet, but in, in your head, what what do you what's your thought process here? Just keep him down. Am I going to try to go for a turn? Just keep doing what I'm doing. What we what are we looking like here? Uh, just if if the opportunity came, I was going to turn him. Mm -hmm. But with, with short time, I think at this point I may have been winning by three. Okay. So I was thinking, no big moves, uh, no reversals. Right. If he's going to get away, just let him go. And, and get in a good stance, just okay. like this, right here. Let him go, time's real short, he's gotta take me down. All right, we got um, a red. They hit me for stalling yeah. and gave a point. I don't remember getting warned in that, in the, in the match. So mm -hmm. I don't, at that point, I really wasn't too, too worried about it. That's it? Look at that. You were, I mean, man, you wrestled good. You wrestled phenomenal. That, that kid was good too. Yeah. I mean, that, that was a that was a well earned victory right there. What was uh, what was your record your senior year? Do you remember? I think my senior year I was fifty five and three, okay, or that, something like that. And then the Pat and Jim at the carry. I was gonna say now tell me you know the feeling right here that you're getting being carried off just like your brother a couple years before to your family. It, it's a uh, it's a huge relief. I can, uh, I you, can imagine. You jump up in there, he, he carries you all the way into the stands. Everybody's that's awesome. cheering around you. That's awesome. Well, that's basically all we got for this one. Um, I want to say thank you to Dan for taking the time to do this. I know you guys are like, you know, enjoying these videos. I can tell by the view count. And I've got a lot more coming. I've got a lot more. Now, I will say Dan is a wrestling coach at Martin County, but this he was at Sheldon Clark. So I know... If you may not be familiar with wrestling, you may think, why is he, you know, same exact school. They just got a new building and they changed the name. So if you see all these older Sean Clark videos, we'll be sure to make sure we tell you guys, you know, Sean Clark is Martin County. Martin County is Sean Clark. Same color, same mascot, all that. I've got a bunch more lined up. 
I can't wait to do them. Until next time, we'll see you guys on the mats. Thank you, Dan.